What's up, trading addicts? Happy New Year to you, and welcome to a late night edition of the weekly watch list. This is Jeff Kohler, aka Option Addict, from over at www.tradingaddicts.com. So, I want to focus on a couple of individual setups here. You know, I don't have much in terms of uh, what the market's setting up, uh, what I have been telling individuals, you know, throughout the last couple of weeks as we've been through the light, kind of dead zone holiday trading atmosphere is you know copper prices have continued to push higher which i think is indicative of where uh, the s p plans to go i don't expect a lot of volatility still in the next couple of weeks i still would look for about maybe two more weeks or so before things really start to pick up futures are up after hours so i've got a couple of technical oriented setups here that i want to look at heading into this week uh, and i feel really really good about this week we're also going to go through we've talked about this on friday but we're going to hit uh the weekly options pretty hard this week which is where we've seen some monster returns in the uh, in the last few weeks so we're gonna hit those I'll talk about some setups there and I'm not gonna get to the full list tonight I'm just gonna go through a couple of price patterns but uh, if you want to see the complete list I'll post it later uh, but let's focus right now on just a couple of individual price patterns that I really like heading into the week uh, first off is Nvidia and this thing's set up really really nice here on Friday which it's been sitting up here coiling up near its highs and to me a breakout here north of these highs points to a move that gets you closer to the mid 16s maybe upper 17 range what I like about this too is if you zoom out a little bit this should be the completion of a nice little rounded bottom pattern which should suck prices all the way up like I said to I'm thinking about at least 17 so I love the, the setup that's setting up here uh, also I think you ought to keep an eye on silver you know silver has been trading pretty well going to new highs here today and so some of the silver miners you might want to keep an eye on just for a, a quick move you know nothing too significant but a pop to new highs and I think you might want to sell into that so uh, I've been following Hecla mining I don't love the entry point here but like I said into a, into a breakout I think you sell into that uh, also quarter lane same same technical setup there that we've been following uh, looking for you go I get printed new highs breakout of 28 you buy into that should be good for at least a day trade and then uh, sell those this should be the week for semiconductors though and I'm thinking ENTR we looked at this one on Friday. Stock traded really, really well. Should break out of this nice little continuation pattern to the upside. I'm also long some calls in ATML. You can also take a look at ADI. You know, a lot of these stocks have coiled up while the semiconductor index has been pretty flat. And if that thing sees a little bit of a push higher, these stocks have been sitting around the 20-day moving average. Ought to see a nice little pop. So I'm long ATML. I love ENTR. Um, but for the most part, I think most of those stocks are looking pretty similar in that group. I also think it's time to take a look, another look at Manitowoc. And I really like the price action that we saw here on Friday. And you guys know I love this rounded bottom pattern. What, to me, what looks like setting up here is the higher low off the 20-day moving average. Uh, this will probably end up looking like a nice little pennant, nice little triangle pattern. So I think you buy here anticipating the breakout. Uh, great spot, in my opinion. Very, very easy to manage risk. Uh, so I like that setup there. I'm also still long AK Steel, but I, st I still love this pattern for the same reasons. The, uh, the, the break above 17 here will be pretty significant. Should suck prices all the way up to this action point, you know, which seems, seems pretty dramatic from here, but we've seen it happen in AK Steel. We've seen it happen in some of the other steel stocks, so I'm thinking if they stay up, you might see a little bit of catch-up performance in AK Steel. Love this little flag here and love the price action that we saw on Friday. All it's got to do is escape this little flag, and I think you buy into that breakout. I'm also watching GTI. Same thing, like the nice little flag or falling wedge pattern that's been setting up through here. <clears throat> I think it looks pretty, pretty good. Not bad. Uh, PWR. Nice little consolidation, nice little triangle here around the 200 day moving average. Love the little technical setup. I also like BEXP, that's a name we looked at last week. It's a great spot, very easy to manage risk here to anticipate a breakout to new highs. Uh, we're targeting Ford for the weekly options this week. If this thing starts to see a little bit of movement, which I think it should tomorrow, we'll probably look to take on some of those weekly calls. <coughs> uh, Cam, Cam's looking pretty good also. <coughs> Trading up here north of the 200-day moving average, consolidating, coiling, look for the pop. Same thing with Goldman. I'm, I'm hoping... Well, this is probably going to be as good as it gets here, but yeah, this little dip off the 20-day moving average, if this thing opens up a little bit tomorrow, again, another stock that offers weekly options that I think you target for this week at least to 170, but if the market gets a little bit excited here to the upside, you look for the breakout and you look for the uh, the weekly pin up at you know, closer to 175. 
uh, Network Appliance. Haven't followed the stock for a long time, but I think it's about time that we start doing it again. And that's because it spent the majority of the last you know, couple of months here consolidating. That thing looks like it wants to break out. Using the 20-day to manage risk here, the last several inside days, this thing looks ready to snap. So I, I think that'll be a name that we explore for uh, some January calls this week. Uh, also, Precision Cast Parts, same thing. Uh, this thing trading down closer to the uh, the 50-day moving average, which has been where the last few little pullbacks have been to. Again, think it's a very easy spot to manage risk here. Breaks beneath the 50-day, you, you you get out of the position. But if it holds here, you look for the breakout. You you buy, you enter the position here. I think it looks pretty good, pretty easy to manage. Faro FOE, same thing. 50-day moving average. You know, same pattern, different stock, right? And then last but not least, AHD. And been pretty thin here as of late, but still, I, I this this stock always interests me because when it it stays pretty flat for a long period of time, and then all of a sudden when volume steps in, volatility picks up, the thing pops and it runs, and it looks pretty good north of 15 in my opinion. So those are the ideas that I'm pitching here this week. Like I said, I got a couple more buy the dip, sell the rip candidates, and some small caps that we'll be looking at throughout the week. So. As always, if you want to see how we're trading these stocks, please join me over at tradingaddicts.com. Five-day trial for five bucks. It'll be the best purchase you make for the new year. I guarantee you that. So, as always, happy trading to you all this week. This has been the Option Addict. That's been my watch list. Thanks for watching. Have a profitable week. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Well... Let's go see if we can make this little kitty purr. <laughs> <laughs>